Some residents in northwest suburban Lincolnshire are waking up to see their roads underwater. The Des Plaines River already well above flood stage. CBS 2 Susanna Song is talking with homeowners. She joins us live this morning. Hi, Susanna. Aaron, homeowners haven't seen the worst of it. The river will rise another feet before it crests this weekend, and it's already four feet above flood stage. Now, behind me here is Oxford Drive, and barricades are already up to keep traffic out. But it didn't stop these two ladies from biking through the standing water. They said at one point the water was at least two feet deep. They live about a mile away from here and said they intentionally did not buy a house so close to the river. When you live next to the Des Plaines River and they say you can't have basements because it floods and this happens every three years, why do you have a house here? I know, like I said, a lot of people in this neighborhood and I just, I feel really, really terrible for them. And basements have got to be flooded. They have to be. I mean, I, I would be shocked if, if everyone, at least in this block radius, was not flooded. And you're thankful you don't have a basement today. I am today. thankful, yes. I am thankful today I do not have a basement. <laughs> Yeah, that was Scott Zilg, and you heard him say he doesn't have a basement. He lives in this house. He did say he had some uh, water damage in his garage and in the front of his house. He said he plans to go out later today to buy sandbags if the river continues to rise. And again, it won't crest until at least Saturday. We are live in Lincolnshire. Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Yeah, it was bad when we saw it this morning, Susanna, but as the sun came up behind you, my heart just goes out to those people. Thank you. And this is a scene on Route 41 in Lake Bluff this morning. Check out this semi submerged since yesterday. Apparently, the water got too deep for a lot of drivers who were forced to leave their stalled cars behind. Police tell us the water four feet deep in some areas. Clinical operations are still suspended at Lake Forest Hospital. Flooding and power outages led the hospital to transfer 70 patients to other medical facilities yesterday. The rain has cleared out of their our area, but flood waters are still rising in Lake County as the Des Plaines River surges. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live in Gurney, where volunteers have been working through the night to sandbag those buildings. We can see all those sandbags behind you there, Mike. Yeah, a lot of hard work done here, that is for sure. Behind me right now, you're looking at the Gurney Community Church. You can see that it is ringed with sandbags right now. And then as we pan to the left, we're going to show you just how much water has inundated this area. A couple of other businesses also are surrounded in sandbags right now after a lot of work last night. Now, massive amounts of rain and a rising Des Plaines River combining to create huge problems in this village of 31,000. The call for volunteers was put out yesterday and hundreds responded by helping set up sandbag brigades. They were filling and placing sandbags to help protect homes and businesses caught in the flood zone. The Des Plaines River is expected to rise by another three and a half feet, topping the record level set back in 1986, according to officials. So volunteers worked for as many as seven hours yesterday surrounding businesses with sandbags. We caught up with one volunteer who's been here all night working the pumps to make sure any water that makes it inside is quickly sent back out. It's a pain in the butt, but we've learned how to manage it. So we deal with it. The nature of the beast, we don't plan on moving, so we just we've learned how to deal with it. Now that interview was done by phone because I started to approach the man who's inside this area on the other side of the sandbags and he told me after I got a little further over there, I had waders on it, came, came up to here and he said, look, you take another couple steps and it's going to be well over your head and you'll be swimming. At that point, I decided to take his advice and turn around and head back out here to terra firma. <laughs> Reporting live in Gurney, Mike Cuccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Marissa. And you know what, Mike? That's a great lesson for people. You just never know what's under that water there. So we're glad you're with us this morning, Mike. Good work out there. Well, there's a lot of cleanup going on in North Suburban Barrington, where basements and backyards are still flooded. Inside this house, though, you can see the homeowner's belongings floating in the basement. In another house, the crews were called in last night to start cleanup process there. They actually had to rip out the flooring. Probably the lowest point in Barrington. Uh, at the bottom of four hills, and all the water sort of merges right there. And it just kept, kept getting closer and closer until it's pretty much all the way up to the house, and our garage has about a foot of water in there. 
And it wasn't just basements flooded in Barrington. We also found flooded streets, garages, and parking lots as well. The American Red Cross providing help to hundreds of people affected by severe flooding and power outages in northern Illinois, including Cook, Lake, and McHenry counties. Three shelters are now open at McGee Middle School in Round Lake, Foss Park Golf Course in North Chicago, and at the chapel in Grace Lake. Our neighbors up north in Kenosha, Wisconsin, also dealing with similar struggles. Drivers left stranded as floodwaters submerged vehicles up to the windows there. Governor Scott Walker called in the National Guard overnight to assist those flood victims. Don't forget, you can get the weather updates anytime sent right to your smartphone. Download the CBS2 weather app from the App Store or on Google Play. Just search for CBS Chicago. And, you know, I have a Facebook friend, Randy Essen, who said that Highland Park is a war zone this morning. And we saw those football fields before, so just a lot of cleanup today. Mm.